All right. Uh, okay, I want to do a quick revision. The next part of electricity on the characteristics is of series and parallel circuits. Okay, um, for this revision, actually a lot of it is just uh, having to practice. Okay, if you were even just to pay attention to me on this, but without practice, okay, you won't go very far. Okay. All right. Anyway, let's start. All right. So the characteristic of the series circuit and the parallel circuit. So I think everybody knows this very well. In the series circuit, okay, the current same throughout. The voltage V equals V one plus V two plus V three. R total equals to just add them all up. R one, R two, R three. Parallel circuit, current splits up. I equals I one plus I two plus I three. And the voltage is same drop. V is equals V1, V2 equals V3. And then when you find total resistance, you use this formula. And when you use this formula, okay, it's very easy, okay, but also sometimes easy to make uh, medical, 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 maths mistakes. I can't even pronounce mathematical properly. Okay, anyway, be careful. As I always remind students, remember to flip at the end all right flip it at the end okay you get a common data uh, common denominator you add everything up flip it and then the answer must be 3 as well okay okay now knowing this characteristic does not mean that you'll be able to solve a problem okay you can know them you can memorize the characteristic but when it comes to solving problem okay you have to practice you have to develop this sense of logic this ability to do things uh, to, to see things through okay and that comes with practice okay so yeah, the first approach always what you can do is or just right here okay you try to identify okay what kind of circuit is this okay ask yourself okay the type of circuit it may be simply just a series circuit like that okay then everything the characteristics of series circuit applies or it can be a parallel circuit like this that all characteristics of parallel circuit applies but normally they are not so kind they don't give you just all series or parallel it's a mixture of both sometimes it looks very complicated very frightening okay so when you are reading the question okay you read and you must understand okay the question if they ask you calculate the potential difference or calculate the reading voltmeter try using this B equals IR it normally works right if you know the I, you know the R, you can find a V, okay? Or you know V and I, you can find R, whatever. Okay, but sometimes the, too much information is lacking. So here is where you are must be able to see relationship. Relationship of what? Okay, relationship of the Vs, okay? How the Vs are related, how the voltages are related throughout the circuit. So for example, if it's a series circuit, you know this is 6 volts. It means 6 volts equals to volt V, Let's call it V1 plus V2 is equal to 6 volts. Alright, or it's parallel. Then this voltage here, straight away you know, if let's say this 10, here will be 10, here will be 10. Alright, so look for relationships of the Vs, okay, of the Is, the current, okay. That will help you, okay. And also, as you are doing, okay, if it's a very um, difficult circuit, okay, you can simplify the circuit. Simplify the circuit down to make it look easier okay and 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 draw on your circuit okay it helps okay all right for example let's go and look at this this is a circuit over here okay so you identify is this is barrel no it's neither it's both a bit of both okay you identify how look at the way the current flows current comes here comes here comes here splits into two parts and then comes here joins back and goes back so you identify that okay that these two are parallel to each other okay these two are parallel to each other and yet these two together together they are series to this okay the same current that comes through here is the same current that will join back and come through here okay so you can already get a without even starting to solve the question have a good clear understanding of what's happening in the circuit Right, then you read and it says 3 ohm resistor, the current flow is 0.5 amperes to it. So you can label. If they don't label for you, label yourself. So this helps 0.5 amperes. So if straight away you can see, oh, here's 0.5, here's 3. 
so well if you go IR this makes it 1.5 okay and these two are parallel you can also quickly conclude here's 1.5 right and you probably can even see you uh, start to see that okay from here uh, I can find a current here okay and from if I know these two current I will also know this the current right so this current let's just call it I this current I right so over here to find this current Go for the first choice method. I always say first choice method. What's first choice method? I go to V over R. Right? I go to V over R. So 1.5 divided by 6. What do you get when you uh, take 1.5 divided by 6? Okay, you get 0 0.25. 0 0.25. Right? So 1.5 divided by 6. Okay, please, 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 please try to use when they ask you to find the current here, use the formula. Try not to use proportionality, your math skills. Yeah, you can do it that way, it's not wrong, but sometimes you get careless along the way, you make mistakes, or your presentation isn't good and you, you get it wrong. Okay. Okay, so some students prefer to use proportionality because they see oh 3 ohm 0 0.5 amperes. So if this double the resistance here, the, the current will go down by two times correct okay they, they prefer to do it by that way but as i said uh, please use the formula okay it's much easier so once you have labeled okay you can quickly see here 0.5 0.25 that means here is 0.75 right and then if here's 0.75 then here is also 0.75 right and then the rest follows so here 0.75 and then here's four you v equals ir this part Again, use a V equals IR, it normally works. What do you get? Okay, you will get uh, 0 0.75 times 4, you will get uh, my mess 3 volts, right? Okay, hope I'm right, huh? Okay, 3 volts. Okay, so here's 3 volts. Okay, then if they ask you, okay, what is the voltage of the battery? Okay, the wrong answer is to say, oh, 1.5 plus 1.5 plus 3, that's the voltage. Okay, you say, oh, there's six. It's wrong. Why? Because this is not a purely series circuit. Okay, this whole thing is series to this. Okay, it's not this and this and this are series to each other, right? So this whole thing over here. So go with relationship. You ask for the voltage of battery. You can see, okay, you can also do by V equal IR, but then means you have to find the resistance of this times by the total current you will get the voltage of battery or you can go by relationships of V so I see V1 plus V3 gives me the voltage of battery or I can say also V2 plus V3 gives me the voltage of battery so from here I can quickly get it down and say it is 4.5 volts alright so in summary when you are solving a circuit problem okay try to look what kind of circuit is this Okay, label all what you know. Okay, Let's look for relationships between the voltages. Okay, how they are related, the current, how they are related. Okay, and that will definitely help you. But this definitely needs practice. Okay, once the more you practice, the com more comfortable you get, you'll be able to see things very quickly, right? You can't just listen to me now and then hope to go for exam and be able to do it. All right? Okay, just flipping down. Okay, to our worksheets we have done previously, okay, again, anything like this, be very careful, okay, when they bend the wires this way, it always poses problems to students, okay, again, look, current through A and the current through B are the same, so it makes A and B series to each other, right, Where, but these two are parallel to these two, right, so you can say the voltage of these two here together will be the same voltage as this. So be very careful. Okay? So over here, all this you need to practice. Okay, to in order to do okay, the, the, there's a lot of self-practice required. Alright? Okay, then just a little bit more, just to remind you, okay, if let's say you have a circuit like this, find the total resistance, no problem, huh? All these are parallel, do the parallel part first, then add with the one in series. Okay, and then this question I remind you last time we did this. When you put a uh, wire here, what happens? The current comes here, it doesn't split into three parts or four parts. All the current wants to go through is X, Y, and then here. Okay, this X, Y is called a short circuit. Okay, so this part is short circuited. This three resistors, so there's a large flow of current here. 
nothing goes through here so these three resistors are as good as not there so that's what we call a short circuit so once again for this part it's nothing but practice okay being able to practice that will help you to see uh, analyze the circuit properly and solve it logically all right that's it then